We talked about proximal and distal DNA binding sites for transcription factors. So let's look at DNA and see how these are organized. Now remember that most eukaryotic genes are split. They have exons and introns. Here's a piece of DNA alongside a gene. We see the start site of transcription. We see the promoter. This is the, called the Tata box, along with associated elements. And then just upstream, and this could be 20, 30, 40, 50 nucleotide pairs upstream, we say, to the left of the gene, would be a promoter proximal DNA sequence, a promoter proximal regulatory element, meaning this is capable of binding some transcription factor that's going to facilitate turning this gene on. Zoom out a little bit and look at the same piece of DNA, but this time let's look at promoter distal elements as well. You can see that there are regions, so-called enhancers, which are just DNA sequences that can bind to transcription regulatory proteins. They were first identified as distal elements and called enhancers because when they were activated by their transcription factor, levels of the transcripts of specific proteins was elevated or enhanced. Introns these often very large regions of DNA between the coding regions of the gene are also prime places for enhancers. So here we have a promoter proximal element showing near the promoter and a handful of enhancers or promoter distal elements. And they can all interact, and many genes by the way have more than a few gene regulatory DNA sequences and they therefore interact with more than a few transcription factors.